Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Factorio. I am Sifa Cat, and this never makes me less pleased. I'm very pleased to see this factory running in the way that it does. It's horrifying, and it's mine. So that's the, the way I like to live my life. So I've had a couple of thoughts about uh, a couple of smaller issues with the factory. Not major issues, because the factory is pretty much perfect the way that it is. It's beautiful. It's true. Um... But one of the things I'm a little bit concerned about is we've got a bunch of goods that are like on these uh, belts that aren't going anywhere and probably won't for a while. So I'm wondering, is there a way that we can sort of fix those? Um, I'm not in a mat like, for instance, this. There's four items here that uh, should be on the belt and spinning, but they're currently not spinning. And that's not acceptable. So I'm trying to think how we can fix some of those issues. I don't think the fixing the ones at the end are going to be a problem, but fixing the ones at like the... Uh, just a couple more fixes, that's what I'm saying. So it's something we need to consider. Uh, do we need copper? There is no copper here. Okay, well that's going to be annoying. Oh, there is copper here, never mind. I was wrong! An uncommon phrase for me to say. Uh, I really wish we weren't in the middle of a desert. I think it'd be cool if there was, uh, you know, what do you call it? Trees? Hmm. For now, anyway. I think if there were more trees, I think we'd have problems that we'd have to cut them all down. Well, probably find some trees in the future. Let's not worry too much about the lack of trees. They'll come by. Trees will show up when you least expect them. That's what I know about trees. Trees are insidious creatures. They have no rhyme or reason, only hate. Some people say I've mistaken trees for something else, but I say I have not. Okay. Pop that there on the side so that way it can work. Now, because we are filling, we need to know what the total we're trying to reach is. Okay, so we're gonna need reds and greens. And not plastic, for now. That should do us for the moment. Yeah, I didn't need those red cables to go up there at this point, but that's okay. All right, uh, we are still short on red cabling. Okay, that's fine. At some point, I would like to probably have red and green wires mass produced. In a way that, well, I actually do have them in a way that they're being mass produced. It's just not in a way that's accessible to me at this stage. We can sort that out another time. Okay. We shouldn't need as many red and green wires once we get the robots going, which, all going well, we should have that research today. I don't know if that's kind of hoping a little bit too much, but I guess we'll see, won't we? And we're going to need arithmetic combinators, which we don't have the stuff for, so. Just need the one, though. So that's nice. So. Let's connect this with green wires. In fact, it needs to be connected with red wires as well. That's, I suppose, the next goal. When we get the uh, substations built, it's going to be quite a pain. Uh, oh yeah, it's not actually, it looks like it's connected, it's really not. Yeah, when we get the substations, we're going to have to build a lot of them, and that's going to be a little bit painful, but we'll get there. Okay. So, first off, red, green, that's incredibly important, that's going to be when red circuits equals that, easy. And then, go... I want to put this in a slightly different position, just so it makes more sense to me. So red connects to that, connects to that, and then green connects to that. This reads. Okay, and one of these days, maybe even today, I'll actually automate this. Probably not. And we need to 
change the compendator number so that way it includes it. I also at some point need to have a way to be able to move to my uh, brain of my organization. Kevin, we're not there yet. There's a lot of work that has to be done. Yeah, you know, that's the nature of this beast. One thing also needs to be done is we need to open up our spreadsheet because we haven't done that yet. We need to know how many reds we want to have on the belt. Am I able to adjust these uh, from afar with the map? Uh, don't think so. No. Good, good suggestion, Dave. Okay. Uh, duck roll. So. How many red do we want? We've currently got 92.6%, which is a concerning number. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 1% for now. So 1% is 100,000. Okay. And that'll want 247 on the belt. That number is going to need to be changed. A lot of these numbers that we are putting in are probably far, far too high. I think science is too high. I think we could drop science to 0.5 and still have a good time. I think that's probably a very good idea. Um, but we don't need to do that right now. Okay. Now, before we connect this all up, we need to make sure it's working. That is the hugest thing you've got to make sure. If things aren't working, then you're going to look like a fool. And I don't want to look like a fool. Okay, it's counting, it's counting. Let's go boys, we got red on the belt. Red chips is happening. Give it a second to uh, deal with the overflow, but it'll get there very soon. Nice, so now we've got red chips on the belt. We are one step closer to getting chemical science packs. Um problem with greens no greens are fine uh want to drop the sciences i think we do maybe from one percent to 0 0.75 that gives us extra space on the belt by quite a significant margin i mean it gives us an extra like 0.5 and that makes things a bit smoother anyway uh, i'm lost so the next, yeah, so we're changing these to 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and that is the divisor, divisor of 133,333, okay. Just changed. So that means red, we're probably a little bit too many reds at the moment. It's, okay, that's good. Cool. So that uh, means we've got a little bit more science on the belt than we really want to have. Did we get Ask Panda tonight? You know what? I forgot about Ask Panda. Hang on a moment. I'll just make sure she's still cool with it. Okay, no, under bad planning, ask Pandras tomorrow. I'm sorry. We've planned incorrectly. We have, we've done this poorly. Um, both the guys. It's been a very busy day for us. So tomorrow is ask Panda. Just like some Factorio runs? Exactly. Exactly, it's just like Factorio runs. It all just gets forgotten in the worst way possible. Okay, you know what? We need to probably get some more sciences done. So we're just going to grab some of those. Grab some of those. Get more labs. Just a couple of labs. I'm going with the inserters. Not great. Some of those too. Hmm. 
You know what? I think this is a good place for some science. Okay, we'll do another one as well. Okay, and then that goes into our hell. It goes into nothing, unfortunately. It goes into there. Okay, so when we connect this, and when science comes through, which is happening any second now, there it is. Should have counted that. It has counted that. Waiting for uh, more science to come through. It'll be through in a second. Yep, it's counting well. Cool. Your foot is injured and it makes doing everything a huge pain. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened, if I may ask? <laughs> you may not ask. You are prying too much into my personal details. <laughs> So the plastic is still coming along fairly nicely, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, okay, so sulfur is something we need. That's right, we're going to do landfill. We need landfill to be able to make sulfur. I remember this now. Uh, which also means we need to be able to make some miners. There's iron. Oh, I, can, I can just steal from here. This is a good line to steal from, usually. Three? We can do Mon 3. Don't know, you woke up, woke up three days ago like this? Oh, goodness. Your foot just decided to self-destruct. Feet shouldn't do that. Horrible. I'm sorry. It sucks. Okay, so what we're also going to do, now this is not landfill at the moment, it's just good to have. It's just common sense. So what I would like to do is just turn that on, and that on. At some point, the landfill will need to go onto the bus, but not yet. Now I just want to have some landfill. Uh, how much is that producing versus... Oh, no. Okay, we need, we need better than that. Uh, bring more boxes. More inserters. I think that's perfect. You have to make a mini bus of the. F uh... Oh no, the landfill will go into the bus. Don't you worry about that. It's just not right now. There's a few things that I actually just need to have. I need to make a mini bus for the landfill. What do you propose? Like, you mean rather than having it go into individual boxes, like just make a little line and then do it that way? Is that what you want? That's what you want. We can do that. Yes, okay. Dave gets what Dave wants. By the way, we've added a new bot just for today because Gosen can't make it today. Uh, so if you type exclamation mark Gosen bot, uh, it's got all his favorite phrases. So, you know, enjoy that. Have I spelled Gosen wrong? I spelled Gosen wrong. I'm a fool. <laughs> just a moment. Just a moment. Well, actually, let, let's find out. Who is the one who's... I've spelled it wrong. No, no, you spelled it right. Damn it. I was so proud of Ghost Inbot, and now it's broken because I stuffed up. That's okay, we can fix it. 
P-O-E-E-S-E-N. Right? Yeah. Try now. Good work now, exactly how you spelt it. There you go. He's not helping. So we've got a new bot. Uh, it's probably going to be a one day only thing. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> if uh, other people want a bot that does a similar thing, um, I might be encouraged to do so. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, Dave, and thank you, Gosenbot. <laughs> All right. Uh, we probably wouldn't be bad to have a stack of those. All right. So what was the other thing I was doing here? I was needing inserters, which needs iron plates. And we have iron plates. Now, of course, at some point we will need to have trains on the bus. Not trains, sorry. Uh, stone on the bus. For, like, building uh, tracks and the like. Oh. Unfortunately, uh, landfill takes a while to build. Which is not great. I don't know how much we need, but I think we need a fair bit of it. But we'll see. You know what? I didn't need more of these. I just needed the one. Now that I've just done the maths, it's like the the red number is clearly bigger. So we've we've overthought it. Classic thief behavior. Uh, the only thing that might need to be faster is. The amount of the, the speed of the inserters, which I think we can pick up some faster inserters. I think we've got them. I just don't think we've used them for anything yet. Built them up here somewhere, didn't we? Yeah, it was like my little, uh, my little mall of circuitry. It's still doing its best. But, oh, actually, you know what? If I just go like this, I'm pretty happy. Now I've got a lot of ath arithmetic uh, inserters. I don't want to use fast inserters much, but the fact that I've got them is good news. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Uh, power check, power is fine. Actually, no, all we did was look at coal. Power is fine. Uh, how are we going with um, the science? Have they recovered yet? They, or well, not recovered, but they are back to the level I want, the 0.75%. Which is good, that's where I wanted them. Painkillers, but you don't like... You don't like taking... That's alright. Look man, you got nothing to apologize for. Just look after yourself, that's all I ask. Okay. That should hopefully be making my landfill, which will be desperately needed, or making sulfur. 
It's an unusual thing to require to make sulfur, but you'll see that it is actually very accurate. So I believe the next big plan, an important plan I might add, oh actually it's perhaps more of those, because they're useful. Might build some more electric mining drills. What we need to do next is we need to build another one of these. The problem is pretty obvious. Not all gonna fit. And at the very least, if it doesn't fit to the corners, we're going to have a problem. So we will make it fit to the corners. Two more up. Yep, that's good. I think I just pressed that one up. No, that's perfect. And actually, it does need to be filled in there as well. Okay, so that is a start. Oh, no, not quite. Got to do one more. Well, actually, it this point, I think we've got enough to work with. Now we've got a corner. Yeah, that's actually workable. We can work with this. Because now we've got access to water, which is needed for the sulfur. Petroleum gas is going to be another problem. We'll figure that one out in a moment. But for now, let's be excited. We're here. We are hyped. So forth, wah. Um, sulfur is going to be a pain, but that's okay. A lot of things are going to be a pain if you really think about it. Okay, and that gets the loop done perfectly. Right there. That's a good loop. So now sulfur is not something we needed a lot of, but what I've now got to consider is the barrel problem, which is the problem. I know he stuffed it. Yep. Just like having him here, isn't it? Like he's in the room right now. <sighs> what we're going to do is do a underground belt. Oh, sorry, pipe. We need that there. But we'll move it there later. Um, very good. So the next plan would be to do something like this and have a tank of petroleum gas. Then comes the tricky part. How many barrels do we make? Keep in mind, barrels are kind of going to be a weird thing. Because barrels actually kind of need to equal something else. Because barrels need to be how many 
They are reusable, exactly. But we're occasionally going to need to build more barrels. So, petroleum barrels? I would say we don't need a lot of them. I would say we even go down to, say, 0.5. Okay? That's probably a lot, actually, but we'll figure it out later. So, petroleum barrels need to be 200,000. Uh, this gets its own one, I'm pretty sure. Find some copper cables real quick. Oh, there's some better ones. Oh man, we've just got straight copper cables. Yoink! Okay. Now, here's where we're going to get a bit funky. Uh, I, I wanted to probably do that. Now, solar panels for power we're not allowed to use. Because it's always day. Do I use portable solar panels? And consider that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep on building. So, petroleum gas barrels. We need to have the divisor is two hundred thousand. Okay. Hello. Bird? Yeah. I like wingspan. No, I suppose it wasn't. Yeah. And is showing me a strange bird. Okay, so what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to get all the barrels added up. Okay. So this one's going to be kind of a pain. But now we're not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to go like that. And they're just going to sort of connect each other in some sort of horrible Ouroboros type thing. Okay. Uh, and each one also needs to connect to this. So, the idea is petroleum gas barrels plus uh, doesn't really matter too much right now actually. Look, let's, just, let's just do it properly. Let's do all of it now. Do we need crude oil? I guarantee we need crude oil. There is no flipping way we will not need crude oil in this thing. Uh, crude oil. Barrels. Okay. Output. Barrel. Okay, then we go... Barrel. Plus... Heavy oil equals barrel. Okay, so that barrel, oh dear. Okay, we've made a mistake. What we probably want to use here is a red wire, not a green wire. Okay. Good. No, you're not. Um, because it's the input of barrel. Okay, so yeah, it can never connect to the input of barrel. That makes sense. Okay, so let's let's do it easy. Crude oil plus. Heavy oil equals barrel. Barrel plus light oil plus lubricant plus petroleum. Oh. Plus that's petroleum. Sulfuric acid.
can you keep connecting these, that's fine. Okay. And that plus water. Okay. When those are all connected, it should be at 123, because that is how many... Uh... Hang on. 123 is how many petroleum barrels we want. Yes, that's good. So. Then. We connect it. Back down to here. And these numbers should not be going crazy. Why is that? That's nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing. Right, it doesn't come, it get a signal until petroleum barrels. Okay, that's cool. So now we know how many empty barrels we want. We want about, about 123. Maybe we want to divide it by two. Divide it by two. That way, we don't really want as many empty barrels as we want petroleum. Uh, technically, empty barrels equals some of those. Divide by two. Yeah. Hey, Solburn. How you doing? Okay, so now we need barrels. Good news is we have a machine here that makes steel. And with that steel, we can make barrels. Logically speaking, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to... How am I doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I went up for a car... Uh, driving my car. Well, our car. To be fair, it's a nice car. But went for a drive in our car today and bought some lights, came back, the lights didn't fit, so you know, <laughs> that was annoying, but beyond that, pretty good. But yeah, driving a car, it's exciting. Lights, like a new light to prevent Cat of the Month glare? Uh, no, lights in the kitchen because the lights burnt out or something. Um, however, those lights are being planned as well, just not immediately. Like, as I've said before, we need to hire a guy to do that. Uh, we, we're investigating that possibility as well. Possibility. I don't think we need too many of these barrels. Just need to make sure we've got some. Then we want to make sure that the barrels get on themselves. That's good. Break that. Break that just to make sure everything's safe. Can't break both at the same time, you fool. You know that. You know that. You're smarter than that, Seif. Make jokes that you're not, but you are actually smarter than that. Now that I've pep-talked myself. Red. Green. Barrel. Then, want to go arithmetic, and we go red, connect that, and then green out. And then just anything you see. 
Okay, and we connect the power, otherwise nothing makes sense. And we do want to read it. And we're good. Oh yeah, and then it jams up because nothing actually can leave here yet. was two. Who knows? So those barrels will be essential for what's going to happen next. Am I compensating for the small handful of... No, I'm not. I'm really not. I need to. So, I'll show you what my plan for that was. First off, output priority needs to be this. Then we do something like that. Like that. So we're going to have to do this a few times. But that is how we have to fix that. And basically all of those ones will need something like that. Like this will also need it. It's kind of painful, but the only way to really get around that. And it'll get through it eventually. Right now this belt looks a little bit full because it was all jammed up because I turned it off for a moment. It'll get back to it, don't you worry. Never fear, never fret. How many of them are stuck? Uh, a couple. It's probably... The thing is, they'll get better. Like, it looks bad now, but it'll get better. Don't worry about it. If we go back to it now, it'll be nothing. See, there's nothing on it now. Yeah, well, it's not ideal. Hey, Veldak. Occasionally it fills up when something else comes out through here. It'll all calm down eventually. That's the request from Gosen. Well, we've got Gosen bot. Is it all right? You know what? That's perfect timing from Gosen bot. Perfect timing, Gosen bot. You're just as cynical as the the man himself. Bot can't call itself though. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. Okay, so now we've got barrels in the system. We've got 15 barrels at the moment. And that is filling up with petroleum gas. So what we need to do now is... Petroleum gas sorted out. Put all the barrels in your spaceship. I'm going to regret that. The good news is I can turn that bot off whenever I need to. Um, what was I going to do? I need more splitters. Funny, I thought I had a bunch of splitters. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it will. I'm pretty sure it's programmed to say the other other things as well. I mean, uh, don't put the barrels in the spaceship. Why wouldn't you put the barrels in the space? Wait, what happens if you put the barrels in the spaceship? Hold on, I've never tried that. Something happened. I thought you were making a reference to space exploration. Get an achievement. Well, 
I guess I gotta get that achievement now, don't I? Wait. Oh, I've got to do assembly machines too for this, don't I? Assembly ones don't have a way to do it. Okay. So now what I got to do? There's actually no reason why I shouldn't do it this way. Okay, there's a reason why I shouldn't do it this way. First off, get that out of there. Then what I can do is go... Huh? I do, thank you. Go right here. Oh, did you say, do you want water? Yeah. I've got water. Thank you. you press R on a splitter to turn it backwards. Huh. I never considered such madness. that to empty out. Okay. Then we need to also connect that to... No, that doesn't get connected to anything like that. It's not how this works. I know this, see, if you've done this so many times. Uh, four barrels, one in each seat, 25 barrels in the ship, 25 barrels in the bay. I've done 25 barrels in the bay. I blocked the main bus. I guess that's a good way of fixing it. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be a better way to do it than what I'm doing now. Okay, we'll give it a go next time. So. Nick that into there. Into there into there and then green wire it out so, yeah plus yeah and yeah times minus one yeah and then read number eight power I don't think oh wait that's the wrong thing by the way it's meant to be normal barrels Empty barrels, if you will. In fact, look at that. It's a barrel right now. My goodness. How strange this world is. You ask for a barrel and a barrel appears. Okay. Then, modular armor, interesting, I didn't consider that being a thing. Yeah, we're doing barrels now. So, now what we're going to do, similar thing as we did before, we just go, oh, we might need another power line. We need red and green, modular armor. Okay, barrel, barrel, barrel! Okay, and then we go there, into there, and back out to there. Do a barrel roll, hell yeah. Thanks, Slippy. Okay, so if we do that, the, oh, actually, no. One more thing. Gotta do it that way. Okay, so we have one barrel of petroleum. We currently have 33 empty barrels just floating around. Okay. I think that's pretty good. 
But we now have petroleum on the bus. Which you could argue is a terrible plan. But, you know, fine. Uh, red chips seem like they're doing well. That's good. Good job, red chips. Okay, so now we need to start considering sulfur. Which is fairly simple. It's just some chemical plants. Of which we can build so many of them. I don't think we need more than two at this stage. Uh, we need an offshore pump. You know what? If this is a, as good a time as any for a power supply area. I mean, this is a good time for a power supply area. That's what I'm telling you. Go four here, and then maybe another eight. Or seven, rather. I think we'll make some real progress with that. I'd like to see a cat from the cat calendar. Well, Baldak, who am I to refuse such a polite request? Let's see a cat, shall we? The question, as always, is, is this a great cat? Yes, all cats are good cats, but is this a great one? Here it is. Does this cat deserve to be in the Cat of the Month contest? I think it's a gorgeous cat. Pretty nice. Might be very hard to hold straight. Because I haven't put... My arms there, it's a lot easier. Not really much easier, actually. But it's a nice cat, look at it. Very proud, it's a very regal cat. Because it surveys its domain. Also, its domain is probably sushi belts at this point. Which is a good domain to have. Alright, and we are done. It is deemed a great cat. Hell yes. All votes to two? All votes to two. There's a couple of people who did not think this was a great cat. Hmm. That's fine. That's the purpose of the vote. You're allowed to say it's not a great cat. And while I do not agree with you, I agree that you're allowed to say it. I do not see who voted anything, no. Quite frankly, I don't think I'd want to. When I think about it a little bit more, I'd be like, I'd be like, man, I know Veldak's been voting down like fluff cats lately, which I honestly cannot understand. But again, I don't need to understand it. Which is the very democracy that this channel is built upon. Uh, okay, one more. Now, we don't really need to do this, but I just think it's a good idea to just have another amount of power available. If a fluffy cat gets to final, your favorite cats will have a harder time to beat them. I respect that. You're playing the long game, and I, I respect that. So, no, how am I doing this? It'll like this, right? And then we do the boilers. The pipes. Okay. Um, what's my plan here? Am 
might be better. That's much better, yes. And then we put the turbines in, but we stagger them. Okay, that's good. It'll just give us an extra bit of water, a uh, bit of power, should we need to. Uh, you also vote by, is this a cat you want home? Love your cats, have a lot of cats are here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounds the best time. I mean, yeah, sure, it's going to be shedding everywhere, but what a cat. What a majestic cat it probably was. There's no way I have the wires for doing what I need to do here. Well, I can probably acquire the wires. Acquire wires! That was a strange sound. Was it a snuggly cat? Please tell me it was a snuggly cat. Snuggly fluff cats are the best. They do leave hair all over you, but sometimes that's a something you gotta live with. Are we having problems with green? Surely not. No. Just a lot of it in the belt, I guess. I mean, science is continuing, so I'm not too worried. Any scientists in this pack? Um, a little bit of red, but not not really anything beyond that. One summer storm at night, the cat had to at the window watching lightning, getting scared every time there was thunder. Oh no, the poor little kitty. And you, of course, poor you. But poor little kitty. We used to have a cat and it used to like, whenever it was raining, he would just sit at the window and watch the rain. And I liked it a lot, just watching the cat watch the rain. He would just sit there for hours, just watching the rain coming in. The cat. I miss that cat. Anyway. There's not time to reminisce over cats, so it is time to get factories going. Uh I don't need to worry about the red wire just yet. Uh and we've got to do it like this. Oh. I wish there was a shortcut to switch which output priority there was. If there is, please tell me, because that would be so funny if there was one. I don't think there is, though. I imagine you're almost sleeping and you hear thunder and then thumping get close to you real fast and you feel a cat flying over your body the outside of the bed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's annoying, right? But at the same time, poor cat. So scared. Doesn't understand. That's not how you do this. You know that. You've done this dozens of times and yet you keep doing it. That's how you do it. Anything plus zero, output anything, anything, times minus one, output anything, all in a day. 
and then we'll that. And no. Maybe? The top. That yeah. yeah. We should be good now. Yes, we're good. Okay. And that gives us more power. So that should hopefully reduce the chance of shit hitting the fan. It'll take a little while to get initialized properly, but once the coal comes through properly, which is going to start doing soon, it'll be good. Really not producing, doing quite as well as I hoped it would. Oh, because that one's got four coal in it. That's why it's got, yeah. And then as that starts going as well, then... Yeah, and then it'll start consuming less coal as it goes on. That's fine. Point is, it's a, another way of getting power. Quite frankly, until this starts backing up, is it all right? Damn it, Ghost Inbot. It's something, right? It's not. It's better than nothing. It's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, as my father always used to say. Um, but we will just... Oh, we don't have coal down there. Well, never mind. Meanwhile, we have five barrels of petroleum floating around the factory, which is reasonably exciting. I think it's time to start thinking about what to do with that petroleum. I mean, look, it's an extra approximately 1.8 megawatts of power, so that's something. I'm pleased with something. Look at those barrels over the petroleum. They're not counted in anything, so I might as well use them. Okay, so we've got the chemical plants. We just need some iron, I believe, for the pipes. Yeah. Iron all seems to accumulate here pretty quickly, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we don't really need green chips right now, so we won't take them. Okay, build 20 pipes. That should help. This is going to be kind of an odd one. Not a bad idea. You can place cars on a belt, use circus to stop the belt, and then use insert to turn for an alpha cars. I've seen that before. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah. The problem is cars are not quite as reliable on uh, things as I've seen before. It is pretty funny. I do like the idea. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. It is a terrible idea, though, and I do appreciate it. Uh, we never need weapons, we never need these, so no reason to research them. Stone walls, might as well get them going. That was apparently a very quick one. Uh, gas, 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 gonna step on the gas. Tonight the thing is gonna be a small cat. Gas, gas, gas. Alright. Okay, so anything plus doesn't matter. Anything, anything times minus one. Anything. 
And reach. Okay. Ah, oh, my circuitry. <gasps> You're right. Thank you. Hundred percent right. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that's not how this works. That's not how this works at all. Because we need to get stuff out. Got about the uh, emptying, that's very important. Ah, uh, ghosts and bots are real stinker, innit? We've got seven barrels of petroleum oil floating around at the moment. That's not many. Not really that surprising either. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to do something a little bit different. Barrels? I'm not going to limit the. Should I limit barrels? No, I don't think I should limit barrels. But what I do need to do, while I don't need to limit them, I need to add them. So we're going to go that red wire, red wire, green wire. I think the f I feel the problem might be that we just don't have enough barrels at the moment. That's okay. That will sort itself out in time. What concerns me is why are we not getting green? Right, we reduced the gear wheels uh, percentages, and that means we're not making as many of those. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's okay. Need more barrels, I think. I think barrels are something that's going to explode in kind of a scary way if we're not careful. That's okay. Uh, petroleum gas is sort of full there, that's good. We really should just keep working on making sulfur, because that's what we need to do. And then engines, and then... Oh, ho, ho, blue science! Man, we can start some serious shit. Barrels could take a while. Maybe we want to have another place where barrels are made. Uh, let's get the chemical plants going and then we'll figure that out. Now we can't use the side yet because we would need to... I don't want to use that side though. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to need more pipes. Obviously. There, and then two of those. And that should get water. Yeah, so now it just needs to get the petroleum. And uh, we'll be good. I think it's about time to expand the number of things we have on the belt. It's been a while since we've done it. While we're doing that, uh, add this line in as well. How's power doing before I do that? It's a good question. Power is going well. This one's not going as great, but it's it's putting something through. And this side is yeah, this side's not really using full consumption, so it shouldn't be a problem. Good question though. Thank you. Oops. I hope that didn't break anything. Now this will cause some slowdown for a little bit, but do not fret about that. It's expected. Um, so... We've built 6,000 belts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, forty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, 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 forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven,
I better off doing it complete opposite place, like over here. Right? Right. See, if you can speed it up here. No, you, I think it's the opposite. You want things where there's not many things. Because now... you've got is things that are going elsewhere much faster. It's going to the extremities faster. Now I'm crunching my belts. Yeah, but I want my belts crunched elsewhere other than the raw material places. So that's correct. Probably. So it's like the middle, like not, not the inside, but it's the middly bits that need to be done first. Scientists wouldn't tell you that. Crunch is bad. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Crunch is good. What, you, you think you middle out, middle out? Yeah, middle out. I agree. Oh yeah, green circuits taking a little a bit of a hit. Of course, I just I couldn't figure out why greens were taking a hit. But it's, they just pushed a whole bunch of them to. Because now, they're reaching the extremities faster. A yellow cake, rubber ducky part. No, it's the thing that makes a rubber ducky. Yeah. See, this is good. I'm a little concerned by the fact that it doesn't look balanced. That is a concern of mine. Um, what we might do then doesn't it automatically upgrade when you drag over it like with undergrounds what doesn't what do this enough you have yellow belt I don't think that works like that does it I've never tried hang on I don't think so yeah it doesn't only works with split uh, only works with undergrounds Only with undies, that is correct.
Now, do we have problems with copper? Yeah, we do, but we'll be able to fix them eventually. Uh, copper, oh, coal is back where it needs to be. And hopefully this is... Ew. Not really producing that much extra power like I kind of hoped it would. But, good news, we have made two sulfur. <sighs> Sulfur's like kind of nothing. My power's not very good. What do you mean? My power's great. Because this one is the one that's doing all the work. This one's kind of like a supplementary power. It's uh, not doing great. But the thing is, at least it's using the coal when it gets it. Snacks. Maybe. It's, it's assisting. And I think if we had this coal mine, if we had this rigged up over here, it'd probably assist a lot better. Stretch, we can stretch. Rich, hydrate, meow, don the mask. What am I, some sort of puppet? Kinda, yeah. Okay. A little bit worried about green signs. I don't know what's slowing it down. Probably the number of belts on the bus. Nope. Hogs. Get lots of cogs. Do. We have lots of cogs. <laughs> oh, that's a good stretch. Good stretch, man. Just don't pass out. Okay, so we really don't want a lot of sulfur on the belt, but we do need some. I mean... Oh, I missed what the shirt. You're right. Sorry. Oh, this is so much. Anyway. I did it, did it, do! What the shirt. Yeah, what the shirt. Well, I thought today that we are doing chaos. Uh, we're gonna, we're... Still cipher. Because, you know, Bill Seifert's a cool dude. Who is absolutely terrifying. I love scary villains in a kid's cartoon. Like, some scary villains are just so minor. But this guy is actually kind of concerning cosmic horror. And that's kind of wonderful. You need more cosmic horror in children's cartoons. That's what I'm saying. Bill Cipher Cat. That's Cipher Cat. But, yeah, sure, why not? I'll accept it. Um... What do we need sulfur for? We do need it for sulfuric acid later, don't we? Uh, which means we probably... Uh, put it on the bus for now. It's okay. Can't use this section yet because it's covered in water. Can we get landfill to fix that problem? We'll find out. It's a bit away, but that's alright. We can walk. It's nice to have a walk and just see what's going on in the factory. There's a lot's going on, any given time. Well, let's just do that. Feels right. Try to build a car at some point, that would probably be a good idea. That uh, would be pretty easy. And then we can lose it repeatedly. And that's always exciting. Car Is a car required for... I don't know why I had to question this. Yeah, of course the car is required for the rubber ducky part. As I said, it was a stupid thing to query. Uh, yeah, that's enough landfill for now. Oh, 
Got enough barrels for now. I would probably feel that more if we had more petroleum barrels, of which we've got eight out of 146. Okay, we don't have enough of those. Uh, oh, actually, how's green chips? Green chips are looking okay. They're just a little dicey right now. Kind of strange. Yeah, don't don't stretch to the point that you hurt yourself, Dave or anyone else, please. I don't want to be responsible for that. I don't want to read that news story. I don't know why that would be a news story, but I just don't want to read it. Uh, do I need to do the full rotation? I do not, but I prefer to at least get this part ported before I moved on with my life. Oops, that was too much. Fine. Nice. Uh, video about these walking to an Apple store. Yeah. Generally just let them go because it's, it's real. Like, I know everyone wants to be a hero and go, hey, I'm going to save the store, but all that stuff's insured. <laughs> you know, let that be for someone who can actually do something. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, just let the thieves steal, but I mean, what are you going to do? What are you as an individual going to do? The store ain't going to protect you, so you just let them just do what they want. Just safe for everyone. Um, although when I worked in an electronic store, someone did steal a bunch of phones, and uh, then the guy was seen like a few hours later and... <laughs> The guy who had the phone stolen from him wrestled him back into the store. Apparently it was a really interesting uh, video to watch back on the CCTV. Um. <laughs> but yeah, no, just just let him go. Who wants to put their butt on the line? I don't, it's not even for the biggest company, I just don't want to... That's just an famed masochist <laughs> Twitch streamer. Hang on. Why am I... F okay. I got a question about a few of those words. Famed, questionable. Masochist, questionable. Twitch streamer. Yeah, that one will be fine. I do not encourage injured viewers to perform unsafe activities. And anyway, I stopped my stream at 10.30. So, you know, there's not going to be a news report at 11. Unless you get someone else to do the news report. In which case... How do you, I guess? No. <laughs> I, I was going to say, you're not apologizing, and then I realized it was Ghost and Bot. I'm like, Ghost and Bot does not know how to apologize. Like, he, he really doesn't. Not one of the things Ghost and Bot. Ghostin told me to say it, but like the bot say. Cultural thing. I mean, 
to be fair, working in say or in like an electronic store, when someone stole from you, you do feel like you've messed up. Like you do feel like, ah oh, man, I should have caught them, or I should have, you know, been more attentive so they didn't feel comfortable stealing. But quite frankly, they don't give a shit. They don't care at all. They'll just steal. They're gonna steal anyway. What are you gonna do about it? I'm certainly not advocating anyone steal, of course. I, I never would. About caring. Yeah. That was the part that always hurt me, like when I'd like find in the store in like a completely different part, like a cell phone charger that someone had like uh take like a packet that they're taking the charger out of and just throwing the packaging away. And I'd find it in a different part of the store without the product inside and I was just like I would walk to the manager and just be like, I found this over here. And the manager was like, damn it. But I feel like I was to blame, but I wasn't. Like, it, it could have happened any time. It could have happened days ago. But I didn't know that. I No one did. It's just the fact that it happened. You wouldn't pack the store, uh, protect the store, they're injured. It's about protecting society. Yeah, exactly. Protect people. Stuff products. Products can be replaced. Product, products can be... You know, whatever. Like, I know it sucks, but let it go. It's simply not worth your health. Of course, you're going to get some sort of loss prevention manager who's just an absolute flippin' asshole who's going to be like, no, you got to protect the company assets because they're the ones who... No, stuff off. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, I'm not even not just talking about Apple. I'm talking about literally any store here. Like, it really sucks when you're a loss prevention manager who's just like, rah, 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 rah protect the customer, the company product, because it's, you know, that's how you sell things. If you don't, rah, rah, rah. no, I think I can shove off. Uh, that's going to be 400,000. might do i mean if they weren't stealing and you did something then all of a sudden oh what, what why did, why did xyz happen it's like well because this it's like you have no proof you're not police you get <laughs> stay away from that crap well that's just because you're a superhero I'm just a normal guy. Okay, so we've got sulfur in the bus now. Not much. Yeah, not much at all, but that's okay. What was the story, Valdek? How did you stop thief, thievery, theft? Check something this yeah at some point what I'd probably like to do is get like a probably over here get a full water one but here you just think everybody would step up and do something <laughs> no if so as long as someone's not no one's being hurt you uh you step the hell away Maybe that's just me being like coward. I don't know. I don't think so. That's what all cowards say. <laughs> I don't think I'm being a coward or anything. I just want to get nowhere near the situation. Coward. Yeah, you don't. Right, for what it's worth, even though copper's kind of a little bit meh moment, I think it's doing okay. Just want another research over here, maybe. I 
No, that's a different situation, though. That's not a crime being done. That's just, like, someone needs help. I don't think that's uh, a fear uh, assessment of what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, if someone is over there stealing, I'm not stopping them. If someone falls over and needs help, then absolutely you help them. Bystander fix. Someone else will do something. Yeah, they never do, though, strangely enough. Someone else will handle the situation. Who? Doesn't matter, not me. It's, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's probably where you want to be in society. The fact that you see something happen, you are like... Hmm. <laughs> That's concerning and scary. Is there any advantage to having lab research speed? Probably. Uh, I don't really think we need any of this stuff. Modules might be good, actually. How are we doing that? We haven't made any more sulfur yet. Okay, that's fine. Sulfur will come by when it feels good and ready. When it's the right time for sulfur, it'll return to our lives. Alright, so now it's time to make engines, I suppose. Uh, I kind of want to make it over here, and I'm thinking maybe make blue science in here. So, let's... at Let's finish this circle. By finish the circle, I mean, yes, we. Oh, look, we've got we've got fast belts. Why don't we just use them? When you do it like this, it's clear how much space you've really got on the bus, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Are you, are you equivocating this with, like, it's an Uncle Ben situation? I mean, I know that's not quite what you're saying, but, you know, you know the reference I'm making. This is our Uncle Ben moment. Hmm, it's possible. Ah, no, shit. Crap. Even so, I'm more likely to get absolutely laid out on the sidewalk or pathway or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, by doing something, so I'm just gonna not, because I'm a coward. Yeah. Reasonable. Um, alright, so, now we've got that. I do want to get some more yellow belts, just because yellow belts are hip and cool in what's happening. And uh, I want to be hip and cool in what's happening.
Is there some valid reason to... Let's go that way, not really. See, when you put it on the red belts, all of a sudden it becomes very clear that you can probably fit more stuff on them. Okay. Time to make engines. Engines. Iron gear wheel pipes. We're going to have to make pipes here as well. Um, probably reasonable, actually. Three things here, right? We need iron. We need iron gears. And we need steel. Okay. So that gives us plenty of room. Build. Lovely, lovely. Oops. Meanwhile, that comes down and around like that, like that. But we do have a problem, which is we haven't actually built the things we need to do yet. That's going to go like connect, 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 connect. I like doing that. That's fun. Uh, we need wood. Gosh, I would love to be near a forest. Like, I know it would be a right pain having to get rid of all the wood constantly, but I mean, we could also start considering building medium electric poles very soon. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Uh, do we want reds? No, we don't need reds just yet. We're going to need reds. Not yet. Okay. Then we do this thing that we've done a million times, and honestly, every time I do it, I wonder why I haven't just automated it or done a blueprint of it, but, you know, it makes me feel confident every time I do it. Maybe that's good enough. Yeah, you finished shopping at a local anyway, store, putting goods in your backpacks. Uh, one small chocolate. Okay. Good thing to steal, but alright. It's just a trial type thing. If you can steal small chocolate, then go from there. Are we good? Yeah, seems to be good. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a small chocolate. Not stolen. Did we steal it? We didn't steal a small chocolate. Yay. Next. Oh yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do about that? Can't do shit. You know what? We're gonna do this. back okay. 
You are clearly a better person than me, Veldak. <laughs> I would have just watched. Maybe if not better, braver. Might be a more correct word to say braver. No, I, you know, I said that and I kind of go against that. Better is not the right word, but braver is perhaps the correct word. True. But I mean, not always. I mean, like the ram raids that happen, I mean, there's, you know, I don't give a crap. Okay, what we could do with these pipes is put them onto the bus as well, which would be an interesting proposition. Not, maybe it's you're not so protective about yourself. Look, I, maybe, I certainly see this, like from what you've been saying, there's definitely a sense of civic duty uh, in what you're saying. And I think that's definitely very admirable. I wouldn't say that you don't care about yourself or you're not so protective about yourself. I would just say that you value the civic duties and I think that's uh, very admirable. Because not a lot of people do. A lot of people would rather turn a blind eye and say, well, you know what, it's not my problem. And I think it's admirable for someone to not do that. I have no idea if that stance would change if you had a wife and kids, can't tell that. Well, sure. Honestly, I don't think people usually think about that. I think people just usually act. But what do I know? Okay, looking good so far. Science continuing to happen. This is, in theory, the last thing I need to make blue science. Still only have two sulfur in the bus uh, and 18 petroleum gas barrels, but that's okay. They'll figure it this, they'll figure this shit out. I have faith in them. more faith than I should have, but that's okay. Productivity could be an interesting thing. You know what? No, 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 no. You know what's more interesting than productivity? Efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, how's power? Power is 8 out of 30. Everything is working. No input fluid. Holy shit, that was never been working. Let's fix that right now. Uh, green science is lacking. That's a bad thing. Sure, it's all connected. Yeah. Vaguely.
But I mean, it's, it's hovering about 7, 8 out of 30, so I'm not too worried about this. These are also producing power when they get around to it. It's not as consistent. That's okay. I think when we pat, we'll pick up this coal and maybe even... Well, that coal is probably going to be uh, taken... We're probably going to do a lot of power over there, because 6.4 million coal. Actually, how are we doing for coal? 207,000. Okay. A story some years ago, entered the very same store. You've jumped small fence. I snuck down. Jeez. I wasn't aware that we were dealing with such a badass in Veldag. Not only is he a space, vamp uh, space vampire, space butterfly that is uh, holy to all Factorio streamers, but he's also a goddamn hero. But a street level one, you know, like uh, Daredevil or something. Not like he's not an Avenger, is what I'm saying. employee asking if she should lock the door okay see here's a fun fact if in New Zealand uh, you locked the door uh, to stop the thief from escaping you are probably the thief's probably gonna get away 100% now because now you have broken the law by uh, imprisoning someone you are not the police and the courts will be like yeah no you had no right to uh, hold them and that's pretty much a victory for them like, it's, it's over there. False imprisonment. It doesn't matter false imprisonment or not, you're just simply not allowed to do it. Just a straight up, you can't do this. You are, you are lose. You ended up with a broken nose. Oh. Damn. Citizen arrest? Yeah, I don't... Citizen arrest has got to be when someone is actually in danger. Um, and if he's just trying to steal something, that's not danger. At least, as far as I'm aware, that's how it goes. But, you know, as they say, I am not a lawyer. I mean, you know, laws depend on different countries. I suppose that's true. See the logic you're going with, and I don't disagree with it. I'm just concerned for your health and safety. Anyway, let's go back to making our engines. Uh, which are currently not being made at all because we never actually had a way for them to... Pretty hilarious. Up late. Exquisite. Okay. I would like that to go that way for the moment because I wanted to stay that way, but that's that's the way it needs to go. Not all Veldex wear capes. Clearly the answer would be. Well, actually, I didn't ask. Veldex, do you wear a cape? Have you ever worn a cape? Even as like a child, as like a Halloween type thing. Or, you know, whatever. Um...
Select for a good 13 hours. Congratulations. Uh, you put on a dark cave and walk around the neighborhood at night. Well, now you're just vigilante. Uh, vigilante. That's that's probably a crime. That's cool. I respect that. Ain't nobody ever hurt by doing crimes. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true. Uh, well, tear off you. You slept for 13 hours. That's pretty good. I guess you needed it. So, uh, good morning. Uh, okay, so then we need to do this, which is quite standard, and I've done it a million times, and I really should automate it, and I say it every time, but I'm not gonna. Now to replay village on village of shadows difficulty village village Not aware of that game Like village as in Resident Evil village Ah, I haven't played that one yet. I was meaning to start playing Resident Evil 3 with Panda. We haven't got around to it yet. We bought it, and then we're just like, yeah, we'll find a time for it, and we haven't got a time for it yet. Uh, engines. Okay, how many engines do we need? Well, honestly, what are engines actually used for? That's probably the real big question. Engines are used for quite a few things, actually. Okay. Put it at point three. Point three. Uh, it's three hundred thirty-three. Okay. Very strange number. So it's three, 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 three. Cool. And that should be requesting how many engines? Eighty-seven. That's not many, but that's what we need. Okay. That and uh, oh, shoot. Be a little bit clogged up for the moment, but don't worry about it. It'll clear itself up shortly. There we go, it's clearing itself up. Good. So, 87 engines on the bus. Very nice to see. Uh, we now technically have everything we need to make chemical uh, science packs. Which is an interesting technicality. Because while we do technically have everything, I don't think we physically have everything. Because I think sulfur is being a right little shit. We've made two sulfurs. Because we've only ever got, like, two lots of petroleum in. But, eventually we'll get more. So, here's the plan. We're going to connect that off. How's Resident Evil Village? I assume you enjoyed it if you were going to play it again. Okay, should be good, and then we wish to, there's no real plan here, advanced circuit, I was, if I knew what I was doing the other way, now I would probably switch around the direction of all these belts, just because it's a little bit more pain, because it always goes left side first, that's okay, that's okay. And engines. 
reckon we would connect those. Uh, what was for dinner? We had chicken, uh, orzo, and like a honeyed carrots. It was amazing. Potato? I thought it was carrot. It was carrots and potato? Okay. It does make a lot of sense. There's carrots and potato, I've been informed. It does make a lot of sense. I was pretty sure there's potato in there, but I forgot. I've been told off. That's all right. I deserved it. All right. The balsamic glaze on the chicken. That's true. There was. Very good. Like a carrot potato mash. No, like uh, roasted. It was like roasted carrot potatoes. I'm going to look forward to what happens when we get these uh, substations. I think it's going to be an absolute nightmare for a good 20-30 minutes. Until we get them all up and running. Uh, okay. Power that up. And connect that. They sell similar lunch in the healthy section? Well, there you go. Healthy. So it's bringing in the advanced circuits, which is pretty good, but no sulfur. And I can't... Oh, there's a petroleum barrel right there. It's tasty. You buy it for... Some time, uh, time, from time to time? Nice. Oh, did we make more sulfur? We've made four sulfur. Nice. Really trying. I respect that. All lunch is marked also with big letters. 300 calories! Nice. <laughs> I think we're going to need to get green science uh, in here very soon as well. Well, Burn had a good burger yesterday. Tell me more, sir. Tell me more. You know, check something? Alright. Okay. We got, oh my goodness, we've got blue science happening. My goodness. Thought it would never happen. Rust monster? Why'd you say rust monster out of no reason? Sorry, everyone. I've got to go look at a picture of a rust monster. I'll be back. Alright, I am back. It's a burger place that puts a bun, burger, and optionally the cheese. It works. Oh my goodness, I didn't tell you guys about an adventure the Panda and I had. We had, a, we had an adventure. So we got in the car, because we got a car, and it's awesome. And then we drove down to Macca's. That was the adventure. 
it wasn't much of an adventure, but we went we went to the Maccas and we got we went to the drive through. Um that was the entire story. We went through the drive through. It was very exciting. Highway to hell. No, it was it was more just like a down the road to hell. But you know, it was good. So we went and got Maccas. And uh, I was very happy. First drive. It was the first proper drive that we had, yeah. We had the second drive today, uh, where we went down to a hardware store to buy some lights uh, that didn't fit. Um, so we need to go back and uh, hopefully get them exchanged. But I didn't take the receipt. So hopefully we can get store credit. We'll see. We'll see. Um, do I live in a food desert? No. A lot of food. Why? That's right, you don't like Maccas. That's right, I forget you don't like Maccas. I don't, to be fair, Maccas is really good in New Zealand and everyone tells us so. Like, foreigners come here and like, oh my God, your McDonald's is so good. So, you know, you, I think you just got bad Maccas. You only enjoy their breakfast? Maybe New Zealand Maccas is good. I'll rephrase that for you. I think you made a mistake there. New Zealand Maccas is good. I can just tell you that right now. New Zealand Maccas is hella good. Sorry, that's my fault. I got excited thinking about hamburgers and Maccas. All right, so with this, we should start seeing the first blue science packs. Yes! How, many, how much time did that take us? 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours to get blue science packs. That's terrible. That's so terrible. Uh... What did I get there? Uh, I got a double quarter pounder with cheese. Which you really could just say a half pounder, but they don't. Uh, Panda got a McChicken? Yeah. Panda got a McChicken. And not an ice mocha. She's so mad about the ice mocha she didn't get. So she was like, oh, it's going to be a pain to get an ice mocha, so I'm not going to get one. And then we were at the drive through window of the pickup, and she saw, like, the cafe, the cafe thing that makes, like, the ice mocha. And she's like, it's just made there! They would have just made it and given it to us! So <laughs> she was not happy. All right, she can get one next time. As there will be a next time. Because, hell yeah, there's got to be a next time. Alright, disconnect that for a moment. Uh, what's that connected to? Nothing of relevance, it looks like. <sighs> you know what? Let's start building medium electric poles. I like how the wire reaches 7.5 to get the boss. The boss is a very popular option. Not my choice, but it's a popular option. It says, eat like a boss with this Kiwi favorite. Uh, you know what? I don't even know what the boss is. Also, McDonald's, please sponsor me. Please. Uh, oh, yeah, it's... It's basically a double quarter pounder with vegetables. Okay. I've never had one, but I knew it was popular. So I see why I don't get it. It's got vegetables in it, and I'll go, meow, vegetables, no. And we don't have the big tasty. The hell is the big tasty? I don't know what it is, but I want it. I've never wanted anything quite as much as the big tasty, and I didn't even know the big tasty before 
like a minute ago. Brazil and Norway. Uh, okay. So now we go red, green, do the thing with the sciences. Where's the sciences? There they are. <laughs> Bullywug! Yeah, you've fought Bullywugs before. Panda's reading a comic book uh, that's like D&D &D themed. And so whenever she sees a monster that she recognizes, she shouts it out loudly. Which is super adorable. We ran our D and D game last night. Went well. Um, yeah, and so we're gonna be finishing that game off very soon, which I'm very excited about. Because there's only one thing I like more than starting DMing a game, which is, f and that is finishing DMing a game. Because you're just like, oh, it's over. Like I enjoy doing it, but gosh, it's kind of a relief when you're done, you know. If you don't know, that's cool too. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't actually set it up that way. Even the pictures that doesn't look appetizing. What? What? How does that not look appetizing? I'm so confused, Solburn. It's like we're looking at two different pictures. It's like we're two different people. How did this happen? Please, Solburn, explain. I am scared. Okay, we need to... Plastic does This. The double... Oh. It looks strange. Cheese is a weird color, but I'd still try it. Plastic doesn't look appetizing to you. One, plastic is super good and tasty. And two, it doesn't even look like plastic. So I don't know what your point is. The boss looks like a double quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. Yeah, that's kind of my point. That's literally what I said. <laughs> Sauce has a smoky flavor. Oh. Of course the cat wants to eat plastic. Of course, who wouldn't want to eat plastic? It's so tasty. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, McDonald's is that. I mean, to, to resist the, really go with the uh, office line, it's literally the same picture. You know, same picture. I do not tell, I do not see a difference. They both look like delicious burgers and I would happily eat them both. Uh, what's that one? Oh, I don't know about that one. Okay. So now we've got the theory of blue science. Maybe we'll stop doing stuff that we don't care about and start working towards things I do care about. Like, uh, substations. Yeah. Or buy them. It'll take a little while. Oh, in fact, I see it's going to take a little while, but there's literally science happening right now. Okay. But I think the problem is we don't have enough green science. We definitely don't have, don't have enough blue science either, and that's a different problem. Make green science in one place, which is here. Problem there is lack of iron gear wheels. What I might find is a good idea. Hmm. Meh. I feel very meh about that one. I'm sorry. 
I mean, it's probably tasty. I'd eat it, but it just looks meh. I'm not excited. <laughs> you love Google Photos. You just tag your they into burger and get all your pictures of burgers. That's kind of terrifying. Okay. So we've got some problems here. We're going to sort out in a creative manner. This needs to not ever be done this way again. We can That should fix it eventually. Any month of the burger festival? Yeah, I'm not saying the burger's bad. I'm sure it's great. I'm just not that excited looking at it. Sorry. Price tag is probably different. Yeah, exactly. But it's not, it's not, yeah, I just like Maccas. I don't really have rhyme or reason for it. It's just Maccas is good stuff. And I get that you don't like it. That's okay. A lot of people don't, but I like it. It makes me happy. Maccas is sugar, and I'm not supposed to like sugar. say so I'm, I'm not gonna unfortunately i'm never gonna come to agreement on you on this one this this might be the case that we have to agree to disagree because i'm never going to agree with you sorry i know you want to think highly of me but it's not happening not today With this, I have lost all respect from Soulburn. No, that happened a while ago, I'm sure. Uh, okay. That's the multiplier, okay. If it didn't happen a while ago, it should have. <laughs> gas beer and 
in the end, Solvin is just like, wow, so everyone just has shit taste over here. And the answer is yes, pretty much. Nah, just you. <laughs> I would like to counter that. I have no argument. Uh, Velvet has good taste. Well, that's true. You fear Veldek did just say he wanted to eat Maccas as well, so, you know. If I have to throw Veldek under the bus, I'll do it. It'll be a nice bus. It won't be that nice a bus, actually, I'm sorry. It'll be like this bus. Uh... I'll throw you under a sushi bus. The worst. Ghost in bots not helping. Ghost in bot was the least likely to help here. But thank you for offering. No, Ghost Inbot, you really aren't. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I mean, of course, 8 Ball agrees. 8 Ball always sides with Ghost In because Ghost In talks to it the most. Two are good friends. I have an understanding. I have a certain relationship, shall we say. It's not weird or anything. It's not a weird relationship. It's just they have a relationship of some kind. And then I raise my eyebrows in a rapid, rapid fashion to imply that it is dodgy. Um, and then I say it's not weird, but that was the implication. Oh, wait. No, we're going to do it this way, don't we? This. This. Uh. That wrong thing. Oh, one more thing we could do, of course, is my new trick. Just to do that. Oh, and make sure it counts. Almost forgot the counting bit. Okay. Client situation is resolved. Well, the sign situation is better than it was a moment ago. We have four blue science packs roaming around. Yoot. We have... How many petroleums do we have? Only four barrels of petroleum floating around. Okay. It's almost not a bad idea to make a, a sulfur facility over here. Where there is water. Oh. Oh. Why does it do that? Why did I think that was ever a good idea? A salt burn facility. That's what I said. A salt burn facility.
God, enjoy it. You learn stuff, man. <laughs> you burn souls for fuel. Uh, honestly, at this point, it sounds just like a thing from uh, Organ Trader Warlord Space Organ. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator, which I was playing a little bit of today. Argent Energy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Argent Energy. Yes, let's mine hell for energy. I can't imagine how this is going to go wrong. It went wrong immediately. Who could have predicted? Man, Doom 2016 was so good. Doesn't even know how good it was. Do we have Burger King over here? Uh, yeah, but a lot of them have closed down recently because Burger King kind of had, uh, money problems so yeah they're still around and you can still find the occasional one but there's not many of them at all of them yes oh <laughs> went wrong immediately oh no do you think there's a way we could pay it and pay us to clean it up. There's literally no downsides. It's eaten by a demon. Yeah. It, Argent energy was a mistake. Oh, crap, we didn't want. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So my plan is to use the water here. Although we could also make another power cell. Make a power cell here, that might be actually a better place to build it. My plan is maybe we just make some sulfur over here. Oh god, I just remembered this is actually not the easiest thing in the world to make. Well, that's fine. Uh, we need a couple of chemical labs. We currently don't have the electrical circuits for. Oh, if only I could find some electrical circuits. There they are. Job me. It did it. Hey. <laughs> uh, happened a while ago too. Worst part about it. Injustice shall not stand. Wait. What was the plan of this? I think it was fairly early, so I don't think I quite figured out how to start an extreme. Ah, you're gonna do a start an extreme to get the full value out of it. Good idea. Uh, the coal is still. Filling this place up, which is very important. Actually, what I'd like to do is speed these up. How are we going over here, by the way? We are still going fine for power. Is this one going okay now? It's kind of doing exactly what it's always done. 
something, I guess. Why would I want to troll you? That's not the sort of person I am. You're implying the only reason I do this is to troll, but I don't. I think you're judging me by your, your own uh, self there. So, you have to stop looking at fast food menus online. You don't have to, but you probably should. So it's not going to end well for you, and you know it. It only has one conclusion. One delicious conclusion. Still need to connect that. Dude. Yeah. And we need to connect that to yeah as well. And then I think we're good. If we're getting petroleum around this way, then uh, we can start making sulfur. In fact, is that a no, that's just a barrel. A barrel is not petroleum. All right. Uh, we currently have 74 barrels out of 73. That's kind of what I expected barrels to do, so I'm not too fussed by that. <sighs> we don't really have any other oil things around. We've got some down there. That's quite a distance. Come over there. A lot of iron. That coal is probably going to be really needed soon. Two hundred forty, hundred. Okay, actually, we're probably fine for coal. Copper. Copper we might have a problem with. Actually, no, then we go up north and we have plenty of copper. Okay, that's fine. Keep on going then. Uh, for who? Me? I think I had lunch today. If I did, it was probably just some hot cross buns. It was more of a snack though, but hot cross buns are delicious. Which I understand is not a common thing overseas. You guys have hot cross buns? If not, you're missing out because they're wonderful. hot cross bun. Bat kicking for goodness. Thank you for following Case IGL. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, sorry for the pain that may happen while watching this run. Uh, but also, I'm not doing anything about it, so... How apologetic can I really be? Okay. So we can disconnect that. We do. Okay, so that's. Go oh! Oh! We got petroleum gas in here! Oh, how exciting! Sorry, I got really excited there.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't my fault. It was Valdek all along. Vindication. Petrol. Petrol. Good salad, haha, <laughs> oxymoron. There is no such thing as a good salad. That's not true. Beef is processed salad. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. I suppose... Like, I can't really argue with that, but I kind of want to. Disconnect that for a moment. Okie dokie. Ooh. Ooh. We want sulfur. Sulfur on the a bus, like this is so silly. Okay, everything plus everything or anything rather and then we still need to do this because if you don't it's not gonna do as well as I want it to an idea for sushi that doesn't require a global network interesting how would it work pray tell that we have more potential for sulfur to exist in the world we currently have three blue science packs roaming around very exciting numbers <sighs> input is rate limited Oh, goodness. If it's rate limited, though, you have to imply that you're going to keep getting the rates, and that's where I can't promise. That's where I would run into a problem. You'll buy it? Oh, that's right. You only do, like, one meal a day, so I guess a 1kg of beef lasagna, which is a hell of a meal. Uh, I can see why that would actually work for you. At first it was horrifying, but now I get it. Okay. Or these? Go oh, why not? Beef lasagna, beef lasagna? I don't know, maybe. I, my PewDiePie knowledge is almost non-existent. I never watched him. I found the screeching to be rather annoying, and I'm sure he doesn't screech anymore, but I don't care. Okay, so we're making blue chemical packs. That's good shit. So after that, we need to start considering construction bots. Uh, 
We're gonna need to make lubricant. Uh, fudge. Fudge sickles. Actually moved to Japan. He doesn't screech anymore. He got tired of that persona. Look, I also got tired of that persona. Good job. Um, <laughs> but uh, he moved to Japan. Good on him. Hope he enjoys it there. Oh, did anyone see that? Um, it was like a free a guy playing space exploration with his friend on uh, like he was mentioning on it was a post on Reddit. A guy was playing space exploration with his friend, and his friend would space out at the miners like so that they're like really far spread out. It was just so good. That way, it was like optimal um, limit, like the smallest number of miners you get in the space while covering every part of the field. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's not going to go very fast. He's like, how do I get my friend to stop doing that? The answer is, just let your friend play the game. Yeah. You criticize that? You criticize the fact that he wanted to uh, fix his friend? It was not optimal. There were gaps. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought, like, I've had a friend that, like, wanted to play Factorio, and I was just like, you've really got to bite your tongue. He's like, you know what? He's having fun. I'm not going to be a dick about it and ruin that fun. I'm just going to let him do it. That's okay. Because sometimes Factorio is not about, uh, is not about being optimal. Says the guy running a sushi belt run. Sometimes Factoria is just about having fun. Oh my god, this was never connected. Now it's connected. That's in the wrong place, but I can never move it now. Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes people just need to make their mistakes and just, you know, the, the thing that I always say, like someone, when someone comes to chat and they're like, hey, I just uh, started playing Factorio recently. Like, the thing I always ask is, ah, oh, that's awesome, man. Like, what is your achievement? Like, what have you, what have you done that makes you happy? And they're like, I automated green science. And I'm like, hell yeah, man, that's so cool. Like, yeah, we've all automated green science. We've all played this game a lot. But who is, who would I be to be like, ah, oh, you haven't really played much, man. Like, come back when you've played more. Like, dick response. Just let your friend be proud of what he's done. That's how I feel. And if you feel differently from that, if you think optimal play is uh, the most important thing, that's okay too. That's how you like to play. I just think it's really important that everyone just, everyone just gets to play the game they want to play it. When you see science automated, you cheer the player on, even if they're basically unique. Exactly! Exactly! Because automating science... This is going to be a really strange thing for those people who've got like a thousand or a hundred hours in the game. Automating science is actually really difficult. It is. Like, yeah, sure, we've done it a thousand times, each of us, and we've all, well, not all, but we've played harder mods and we've done all this stuff and games, you know, bleh, it's easy, whatever. But those, when you're starting off, automating red science, like, how do you do it? When is he going to upgrade his build, uh, belts to red? When I have the resources, man. I'm working on it. It's it's slowly happening. Um, probably when I get bots. About then, I'll probably start automating to blue. It's going to happen. Just things take time.
the next thing I want to do is get these substations so we keep, don't need to keep replacing stuff. That's going to be a pretty big deal. I'm really excited by that. And then we get RoboPorts. Wait a second. When did RoboPorts come in? Why did I think that was going to help me? RoboPorts. RoboPorts come in. Where do, where do RoboPorts come in? Personal RoboPorts. Construction. Construction. Oh, it comes on twice. You can get it with construction or you can get it with logistics. Okay. Well, logistics can go to hell because I hate logistics. But. Okay. And then the bots can start building these extensions for me. And I'm going to be very happy with that. Uh, okay. New plan. We're going to do this. Okay, yeah, love that. That is good shit. The good shit lollipop over here. Ah, crud, maybe not. Now it's the good shit lollipop. You see, by connecting those, you increase the chance that coal can come in here. Also, Sulfur gets a free ride. Wee doggy. Which is fan uh, fancy American for small dog. American. <laughs> it's like how you have like Chinese simplified and Chinese traditional. There's American and fancy American. Wee dog, you small dog. That's some fancy American right there. Small dog. Uh. Yeah. Impressive. I didn't even try to walk in heels, to be honest. That's something I would have done, but I actually haven't. Okay. <sighs> Uranium's going to be an interesting thing, but we don't need to worry about it for a little while yet. Uh, do we have some more? Oh, kill those. Shoop. Because the slowdown at the moment is actually something different. Very exciting. Slowdown is blue science, which I believe is actually being made faster and faster now. We've got eight of them on the bus. A 21 sulfur. This decent amount of sleep you've gotten and the pankles have worn off. Oh no. Sorry. Okay, we've got some more red belts. That's exciting. Uh, I like small meteors. I've seen them before. I think was it you that showed me? I feel like it was on Seth's stream that I saw it. So maybe I was playing at the time. I don't really know. Small. All right, we can't just dick around all day. We've got to get some work done. What are we making? <laughs> Damn it, goes in bot. So rude. Um, what else do we need to make? Science is happening. We want to make more science, perhaps. Small media change me. 
I love that all the... <laughs> uh, look, you know what? That's, um... That's cool for you, man. Hey, Southern Trot. You, uh... You, you seem to enjoy that one? That's cool, man. I'm... I'm not questioning. Enjoy yourself. There's plenty of that stuff out there, I'm sure. Uh, thank you, Nuke, for reminding me to hydrate. I appreciate it greatly. <laughs> it certainly does. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Yeah. It... It's supposed to be trout. You know what? I don't know, man. It, with that that opener, I uh, I, I I you know what? I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I I know some people are really into Rainbow Dash, and that's cool. Good for them. All right, so my favorite push the button meme. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. And if you haven't, that's totally fine. I'm not going to tell you more about it. Okay, so we've got modular armor, but no modules to put in it. So that's not particularly helpful right now. Um, we build towards more iron. We don't really need it, but... Perhaps there's no harm in building more things. What? Okay, where where are we struggling? That's probably the real question I should be asking. In blue, we're struggling because we don't have enough uh, house power. Good question. That's an excellent question. Power looks good. First array is consuming six. It is not straining. Second one is actually going the first two burners they're actually going pretty well you know what that's actually not a bad idea all right then we can tone that one down a notch we can absolutely tone that one down a notch that is uh <laughs> what i would like to call a warning um because i am civil that way No, actually, just, uh, that's all right. The... Yep, indeed you can't. Oh, this is a common thing. Okay, good to know. Anyways. Um, so what I was thinking is doing another power thing over here. That's probably a good idea. So, uh, want more of these, but we're just not getting the belts up. We could always make belts here just to make it a little bit smoother. All right, hi, Syro. Take care. Rest well. Do all that stuff. Okay. 
We're going to put a few more steam engines in just to be on the safe side because you can never have a problem with too many steam engines. And we're going to put them out here, I think. So you're really just trolling. Look, I got no problem with people being weird. People be weird all the time. That's not really an issue. Um, people are into their things, and who am I to judge? But still, if you, the whole reason you're doing is just to bait people, I don't really take kindly to that. Um, yeah, so hence you get a warning um, because people are weird, and I, I think everyone gets a chance. You know, you don't really know what's acceptable in a, a place. Maybe what people think is funny, other people do not. And, uh, that's fine, man. I don't really care. Like, I'm really not fussed. Okay. Right, so we're going to connect these together. That will get the coal in here. And then we get some more power going. Hopefully. Unless I messed up, which we might not. Have I tried that Cat Factory game yet? I have, I have. Um, the dev actually passed me a code and was like, hey, check this game out. So I'm going to check the game out. And uh, I'm going to be playing it on Wednesday. So I gave it a little go, see if it looks fun. And it looks fun enough, so we'll do a thing. Alright then, look, you know what? That's what you want. That's that's the strangest request I've ever had in a while, but there you go. You, you want it to be banned, you get banned. That's... Honestly, people don't usually specifically ask for that. That's a new one to me, but... Who am I to say no to someone when they ask so politely? Uh, yes, the learning ones. I, I, learning one. I don't know really what it's about too much, but I'll check it out. Um, it looked fun enough. And, uh, you know, a bit of a sponsored stream. Sponsored stream usually implies money was exchanged, I think. A little bit of a, like, hey, check this game out. Try it on your stream if you like the look of it. And you know what? Yeah, I'll do that. It, you know, look, it's cats and factories. I mean, come on, that's just me. So. It is still an early access, so I won't go too deep into it. Um, because, quite frankly, I think... I don't need to go too deep into an early access game, but, you know. Maybe in the future, if I like it, we come back to it when it's all done, and uh, I'm big enough to get free games. Well, you know, it's... Probably not the way... I wouldn't say it like that. But, you know, sponsored. And, uh, yeah, I want to give it a go. I played Early Access when it was still... Oh, right, okay, cool. Jeez, man, that line is so bad. It sounds so worse than... I know what you're referencing. Yeah, out of context, that was horrifying. In context, no, I do not... Imp like... Jeez! No! Veldak! I was honestly a second from timing that out, but I get the reference because 10 year old girl found out that my stream was not big and she was like, uh, you're not a streamer. That's the context for everyone, real quick. Jeez! Poor! Horrifying, man. Okay. Ugh, that doesn't feel good. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on as rapidly as I can. Which is honestly not fast enough. I should have just moved on. 
Yeah. Uh, all right. You're not getting power because you're not getting power. That does make sense. Up a priority that way. No. No, actually, it doesn't matter that one. This is the one that matters. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. One more thing, which is an arithmetic uh, thing. Counting. Okay. Do, do. Yeah, anyway, it was just uh, the dev saw me playing. Uh, Factorio, and he's like, hey, check this game out. Hopefully you like it. And if you like it, you know, consider showing off your stream. And I'm like, yeah, sure. We'll do a stream of it for Variety Day. Won't that splitter having priority screw things up? Uh, no, because it's after it. So the problem was they're getting stuck in here. This was the way around getting them stuck. That was the plan anyway. Oh. Perfect. Maybe not perfect. Imperfect. Not the best. Okay, there we go. So as stated, we cannot let coal fall over. If coal falls over, we have problems. Or power, rather. And since we can't use solar power because we're in permanent daytime, and that seems very cheaty, So because this is a little bit closer to a coal mine, it's a little bit uh, more reliable. I'm a little concerned with this coal mine. Okay, and prioritize that way. It's jamming a little bit, but not too badly. Yeah, it all sort of writes itself eventually. Okay. We are going to need more blue science. That's uh, sort of a known factor. And maybe over here would be good. Why not a blue science over here? Why not? I flip a knot. I deserve it. So we'll disconnect it for the moment. things he does to do 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 
We're off to see the wizard, by the way, FYI. Uh, that is wrong, by the way. Like that. Okay, connect, connect, and that needs to have a green wire out its rear. Okay. Green wire, green wire, green wire, and that is connected. Very happy with what I'm seeing here. I thought I flipped that incorrectly. Okay. I think we're good to reconnect that. Yeah, it's looking good so far. Play does appear to be lack of sulfur and other assorted cool things. Sulfur is made over here eventually. Quite self quite often actually. Oh, well, quite often is probably not quite a phrase, because there's only thirty five sulfur currently in the the system. But it'll get through it. Currently have 22 petroleum barrels. I would love to have more, but to get more, we would need to get to more oil. Do we have any oil that's near water? That could be... We actually do. That is actually so flippin' useful. Aside from where it is. It's, it's in a shitty place, but beyond where it's in a shitty place, I would probably like to go and get that at some point. At some point. Meow. Thank you. I'll take a snack. Snacks. would have been great if Ghost and Bots did the right thing there, but <laughs> it really did. Did one shot and it blew it. making things. Uh, hey there. It's a very interesting space time. Mimics the human body, sort of. A blood bus, if you will. I will do that, yes. It is a bit like that. Sushi belt, blood bus. It's, it's kind of what's going on. It's, it is an organized chaos. Not organized well, mind you, but it does work. Um, it's just slower. There is uh, a lot of ways you probably build this game faster, and one of them would be don't do this. But at least green science looks like it's uh, managing itself now. Probably because blue science is absolutely shockingly bad. 
Um, the only thing I could think of is I've got barrels that divided by two. I think that's wrong. I don't think it should be divided by two, at least not yet. Hmm. My wife thinks I'm wrong. What is the function of the square roundabouts? Um, basically to connect everything together. That's the main thing. Also to give a good place for the robot ports. The robot ports are planned that when they're in here, they will be able to all connect to each other. So it just gives like a way to connect to everything else. That's the plan. Okay, so we're going to divide by two. I'm going to go divide by one. We're going to make a lot more barrels. But I think petroleum is absolutely suffering without so many barrels. So we'll put them back in the system. Okay, so we wanted 146 barrels, got 138. <laughs> it's my fault. It's always my fault. Blaming the streamer is a time-honored tradition. There is... Oh, look, there's always more efficient ways to do everything in Factorio, but I'm enjoying this way. It's It does the job. Um, there's not a lot of planning in it, like where things are put. It just sort of gives some distance to everything. But it works. Ooh, two more blue packs just into the uh, facility. That's cool. Nothing is really short. Actually, that's not true. Short on inserters and probably belts, if I take a guess. Uh, we wanted 438 belts. We've got 200. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely probably better ways to do it, but I'm having fun. Our substation, we, we get bots sorted out. Okay, so... Before, we had a... We were using this as, like, a way to get belts out. And I think that is probably something that is still required. I thought I didn't have to do that anymore. But I think it's an absolute essential thing to do that. Yeah, no, bots will speed up the building of new things a lot better. There are a few belts with outputs waiting to be delivered. Are they waiting for a demand to be requested? Yeah, basically. So, because you ask, I'll explain the system. Actually, hang on. I'll explain the system with, first off, show you the Excel sheet. There's an Excel sheet that generally tries to get uh, close to 100%. Or less. Now, all of these things are things that we're going to need to have on the belt to make a duck. And ducks require one of almost every object in the game. So, eventually we're going to have to get some degree of all of this. So everything's got a percentage of what I want on it. Now, for instance, if I want 15%, the device would be 6,666. Okay? But then... You know you're having fun when Excel sheets get involved. Exactly. You get it. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. If, you, if you're not being sarcastic, then I agree with you. If you're being sarcastic, I do not agree with you. So, we got that number, for instance, uh, for 20%, I think I said it was. And so then down here, we've got where everything's controlled by. So this works out basically, well, this, I tell how many belts there are, approximately. It was Excel, yeah. Uh, then times by seven, do some stuff, do some math. And these here are, so for instance, 6,666. That's iron plates. That's how many iron plates I want. It works out through a bit of math, and then it spits out in the red uh, wire. I want to have about 4,300 iron plates. The green wire says how much is on the belt right now. Whenever anything enters the belt, first off it checks to make sure red plus green is less than zero. If it's less than zero, it'll put it out. If it's not, it'll uh, stay like this. We've got enough 
barrels right now. Right? Um, and then, if it's fine, it goes out here. Excel's even logged in as Supercat. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad that I chose that name instead of my real name. But then, it uh, comes out that way and it adds one. Likewise, when something's leaving, it counts up and then times it by minus one, so that way the green number is less and it moves on. This is brilliantly designed and I've turned the planet into a living organism. I should feel proud. Um, I am pretty proud of it. It's not very effective. It's, a, it's not very efficient, but it works. You want to be sarcastic, but you made your own D&D character sheets with autofill functions and had a great time. <laughs> so for instance, here, we've definitely got enough green belts, uh, green chips. Red says it was 2.9. Can't really see it, but green also says it got 2.9. So it doesn't need any green at the moment. But if, for instance, I increase the number of belts, and we'll do this just for an experiment, because it probably needs to go up anyway. That's true. So add another few hundred belts. If we rush over here, you'll see that it's putting out green belts for a while. And it'll put out, and it's actually stopped now. Now, all around the factory that's happened simultaneously, that it's just spat out a lot of resources all at once. Um, that does mean, of course, there are going to be some areas, especially around the mines, where it's going to jam a little bit. Um, but that's kind of okay. Does the dead end of the splitters throw off your numbers since there was resources not being used? Yes, that is a problem that I've been working on today, Bipair. Thank you for asking. Um, so what I've started doing is doing like a little underground bit here and sort of connecting them back in that way, focusing on the side. That way it should stop that. Um, but honestly, it hasn't been. Uh, it's still kind of under implementation and we'll do one of these now while I'm thinking about it. So we do a little bit of underground to connect that to there. You've also got to be very careful that you can't take anything off the belt through right click, because if you do that, uh, then your numbers are off and there's no way to ever re really repair that. So whenever you change things, you just do a quick rotate and it works out that way. Uh, I didn't set the output priority, that was a mistake. Not a big one. But yeah, you got to be really careful not to right click on the belt or on the combinators, because this combinator is putting out 10,000, uh, I think it's put out 10,000 items. If I pick that up, the system will think we've lost 10,000 items and it'll try to add another 10,000 more. Which, there is a way around that with a constant combinator. But, it's really finicky then and I really don't want to have to do that. Because every single one of these combinators is counting how much they've put out or taken out. And no power outages are allowed, that's true. If a power outage happens, it stops, it freezes in its current signal, and it stops counting. Speaking of which, power is okay right now. We're not using a lot of power right now. Okay, that's not good. So there's a, it's fraught with danger, and if it goes to hell, it'll go to hell pretty quickly. And what's the advantage of this? There is no advantage of this. <laughs> it's fun, I guess. That's the advantage, right? I'm having a good time. Um, of course, anything that's outside of the uh, cell walls, you can take that. Like, if I wanted all this green uh, science, I can just take it. It's fine. It's not counted. It doesn't matter. How's oil processing incorporated in this? See, that's... So I've done this before, because, of course, I have. Um, and previously what I did was I used pipes going between cells. Now that made it was like really uh, bad scalability because you couldn't just copy and paste things because there's pipes all over it. So instead what I'm having to use is barrels. <laughs> and that's a problem. Barrels are a problem. So plastic is easy because plastic and petroleum gas made in the same place. But here, I'm waiting for barrels so it can go out of the factory. <laughs> and of course, to make sulfur, you need petroleum gas and water. Minor problem, 
there is no crude oil nearby. I guess there is over here. Um, there is no crude oil near water, so I gotta put in barrels, and I'm trying to make it over here. Um, but of course, fifty percent of the time it goes the wrong way. Well, almost more than that, probably. But it will go the wrong way most of the time. So you kind of got a scattergun approach it. But hey, look, occasionally. <laughs> It does make a science. And that's nice. Sometimes it just makes a science. Managing the empty barrel count can be a pain. So my theory is... Let's bring that up. My theory is, for the empty barrel count, the barrel count's actually going to be... Actually, we're not doing divide by two at the moment. It's basically going to be all of these add up. Probably should be divided by two, now I think about it. But for now, I just really need petroleum gas, so I've just left it. I can always change it later, it's not a problem. Hello, Captain Jami. How you doing? What's going on today? Sushi belt? <laughs> Sushi belt chaos. The usual. Love it? Excellent. That's what I like to hear. It is inefficient as all hell, but it is fun. Um, I really should be making something, but instead I'm just talking about what I'm making. I really just want to get the electric energy distribution done so I can start just connecting things easier. Love chaos in your engineering games? Excellent. Don't have it in real life, have it in your games. I respect that. Uh, okay. You know what we need to do? We need to build assembler twos. That's a good idea. So let's just get that sorted. They're going to be kind of a pain. We have assembly machines in the bus? I can't remember if we actually put them in here. We did. We've got 60 assembling machines just wandering around. In fact, there's one now. Look at that little bastard having a good time. Alright. Now that we've insulted just a thing that's on the bus. <laughs> yep. So the plan, again, going back to the spreadsheet, is that here, everything's totaled up. But if this number reaches 100%, we're in trouble. So if that happens, then we need to start reducing things that we don't need as much of. Green chips might be a bit high. Um, I feel like copper plates might be high. Coal is high at the moment, but I think as we start re moving to solid fuel or uranium, then uh, we can probably reduce those. I think some of these numbers are definitely too high. Science might be still too high as well. We'll see. Okay. What do we need? Steel plate this first. Yeah, exactly. Well, if we want to go beyond that, what we do, if we want to go beyond those numbers, is we would build the uh, bigger cells, or more cells, and then we'd increase the number. But the percentage should not go over 100%. Um, whether that happens or not, I don't know. This probably goes beyond my level of good planning. But that's more or less the gist of it. End goal is five ducks per minute. Yeah, that is the end goal. That could take a while. Um, so if people are not aware of what a duck requires, a duck requires a rubber ducky part. Rubber ducky part consists of all of this shit, which means there needs to be all of this on the bus. Yeah, I'm still scrolling, by the way. Including the rubber ducky sweatshop, which I think is really funny. So, all of these things need to be on the bus to make one rubber ducky. And my goal is to make five of those per minute. 
You're a madman, they say. See if you'll never achieve it, they say. Um, that's what Ghost and Bot says anyway. But Ghost and Bot is smart and he knows what's going on. What is the raw material mineral cost of the rubber duck? Uh, lots. I don't actually know. Well, the raw minerals of the rubber duck. You got to think the rubber duck does require. Um, it does require a nuclear reactor. And the rocket silo. I can look at the crafting window. I don't think I've got it yet. I haven't uh, researched the rubber duck yet. Can blue belts even supply that volume of materials? And a spider drone, yes. Um, not in one place. What we'll probably have happen is multiple uh, places trying to build rubber ducks. Much in the way that we've got our research decentralized. So we've got like a research base here, and a research here and here. We'll probably end up doing a similar thing with the rubber ducks. So, five may be ambitious, but I am nothing if not an ambitious lad. <laughs> so you're nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, okay, steel plate. Don't add in C block. We're not doing it in C block. I love C block, but we're not doing it in C block. Yep, I knew you were going to do it. You always do. I can't stop you, can I? Trouble, Dave. You're trouble. JD is doing Sea Duck. Oh. But is he doing it in a uh, blood belt system? That is the part that I have respect for. If he's not doing it in a blood belt, it doesn't matter. See, it doesn't matter then. Good on him, though. I actually do respect a blood, uh, a duck build, no matter what. Like I, I joke that it doesn't matter. I'm not concerned, but I'm actually still impressed. Anyone who takes the, this tries to do a duck build, whatever the way, I am very impressed and happy that they're doing it. In fact, I haven't done that yet. I haven't set it up. Sorry. To be fair, none of those facts I actually knew anything about. I don't actually know New Zealand that well. It's only sea duck once you make a duck. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. Shit. Uh. Okay. We've messed up. We've messed up. Okay, it's all right. We'll fix it up. So. No, we've doubly messed up. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, for instance, we know that needs to be in there. That's easy. And one steel needs to be in there as well. Easy. And look, we'll put a couple in. It's fine. any gears on us we have two okay but we picked them all up four so really it should be three it 
It's fine. They're fairly minor things. I'll do one more. They, everything's okay. If you're doing sushi block, you do it like this. Hmm. Where would you put your robo ports though? Where would you put your robo ports? Good idea though. Just does a like a little bit of counterclockwise spin just for a bit of fun. He does another little counterclockwise spin for a bit of fun. You know, I was in high school, it's all about that counterclockwise spin. If you know what I mean. Let's get these built. The important thing is making stuff. That wasn't very wise. Oh. Clockwise being the same as being book smart. <laughs> and street strength. And cinema charisma. Use multiple sushi belts, but your man of simple taste. You put one item on each belt. It's just a bus. You know it. You know what? I'm not feeling good about that. Uh, hi. Uh, do I have to keep an eye out on not having similar recipe production close to each other? Um, yeah, a little bit of that. More the opposite. If I see, like, for instance, green science is separated by a few cells, I wouldn't build, like, two green science cells next to each other. That's more the difference that I would consider. Um... There's probably some value in... Hmm... Really struggling with this one for some reason. There we go. Not ideal that, but that's alright, it'll do the job. Um, and then finally, we need to get a... Embla. I mean, I think there's uh, many wrong ways to do this, and I'm surely doing one of them. Uh, 
Okay. Now, I don't really want many of these in there, but I do need them to make assembly threes. Am I allowed to send intermediate items directly from one factory to another? Or do they have to use the sushi belt? Um, there's no rules against it. Like for instance here, we could have done it that the inserters and belts were done that way. It's not really a big need to do that, but if it's on the belt, let's use it, right? There was a bit of an argument about whether, because iron gears are already on the belt, whether I could make uh, iron gears in a cell. And we can always make that argument later again as well. It'll be required. But no, there's no real demand for that. You can do it, doesn't mean you have to. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo? Oh, boo hoo. You're gonna ask me why I'm crying, it's because this factory is an absolute chaos machine. Tell me what to cry about. Cry about whatever I want to, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, uh, so assembler twos. I think if anything, we want a smaller number of assembler twos, like 0 0.1, which is uh, going to be a million. That makes sense. Uh, so it's going to want 30 of them, which is not many. Okay, so we've got some sulfur traveling around. We've got... Well, I think the extra extra barrels was a good idea. I do need more barrels in the right place. But frankly, there's not much I can do about that, though. So, meh. What actually might be a good idea? We've got the red belts here. What if we also use those for making red splitters in the same area? Oh my god, they need... 40 iron gear wheels? I that's not that's not plausible. That's not even legal. As these uh belts start to dry up, I imagine we're gonna have other problems slowly arising. Um that power's still going pretty well. I'm really happy about that. You need more iron gears made somewhere else. What if we made some iron gears up here? I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Plates are fine. I think we just need to have iron gears just more consumed. Oops. I love building a new, like, cell wall and it just sort of slowly filling up with just stuff. Makes me happy. In fact, what I might do... 
We see some signs coming this way. It's been a while since I built a new lab. I'm gonna build a new lab. Uh, we only need to worry about green at this stage, that is correct. Okie dokie. So we need to have a few more green wires, but that's not really a big deal. We will actually probably get logistics bots at some point, more just to like give me the things I need, such as wires and the like. Um, no logistics using a request chest, though. It just seems against the very spirit of the game. Oh, we need iron gears. Ironic, isn't it? We build this facility for iron gears and we lack iron gears. I don't think it's irony, I think it's literally the proof of the problem. I said it was irony, but then I thought about it, I was like, that's not irony. Ironic, isn't it? A man who was thirsty died of thirst. That's not irony! We built this facility for iron. We're knee deep in the hoopla. Uh, okay, that's counting. That's going out. Yes. Okay, well, that that's not ironic. None of that is ironic. Which is, ironically, the thing that's ironic about that song. A song about irony with no irony. Like, and all the things you can turn into irony just with, like, another line. Like, rain on the wedding day of... You know, a weather show presenter who predicted sunshine. That's pretty good. Alana's later made Alana's made a parody of her own song. You've got to be kidding me! Tell me that you're joking. Damn. I respect that if that happened. Linus is a really fun person. Okay, I don't really know a lot about Linus Morissette, but cool. Remember that that looked like a blue chip, and I'm like, I haven't made those. Oh, that's probably bad. Uh, we've got a heart attack situation. Okay. Not too bad, thankfully, but it's still a pain. Go back to making my uh, iron gear wheels that I was so excited about. Um, in fact, the last time we were making iron gear wheels, we weren't actually doing it. Make them. We were just sort of doing it because we had iron there. So, hmm. Let's connect that for a second. Iron gear wheels. Okay.
We had to rain on our wedding day. Not really a big deal. I quite like the rain, so I was just like, I always consider the rain good luck, except for when, you know, it, it's a lot of rain. That's not good luck, but generally I like rain. That's a mistake. I've messed up. Do you want to know? Put those back. <laughs> Roll those back. <laughs> Fine. What was meant to happen? Okay, and then we eat, and then we should be good. No, we won't be, though. The important thing is it is counting them, so even if it's counting them wrong currently, that'll all be fixed in a moment. Okay, there we go. So now it's fixed. Also, that's the wrong thing. It's supposed to be plates. Ah, uh, does this design have a bias for the sushi belt to send items towards the middle or spread out the edges or near that? That's just sort of all over the place. There is no bias. It perhaps should be, but there is no bias. Uh... The bias might be for someone who's smarter than me on that one, honestly. Please, someone who is good with budgeting, help me. Spend less money on candles. No. Anyway, that's what this bias feels like. <laughs> well, perhaps, but there's limits to what I can actually achieve. And thank you. Um, okie dokie, then we switch that around, then we turn that off for a second, that's going, that's fine. But there is limits to what I know, what I can and cannot do, that's more my point. Okay, and we're going to do that, do a little bit of a sneaky sneaky. Put that way. Spin it around. Okay. That's fine. We're good. Then we go do do do. I guess. Uh oh. We need red wires. Okay, we got red wires. Question is, where's the red wire connect from here? Uh, okay, that's looking encouraging. Substations can't finish soon enough. That is so true. That's all right. They'll get here eventually. They'll be here before you know it. But then we've got to build a ton of them. Which is going to be a problem in itself. Well, steel plates are a problem. We might need to improve steel plate production. Like, I feel like we have to... I think steel plates is bad. Uh, we want 1.5, we have 900. Yeah, we need to improve steel plates. Bah. It's alright. I mean, it's kind of the nature of this run though isn't it uh and we want this is for years 
don't currently need right now, but that's not really the point. I only need one, by the way. And you're just adding them. You don't need to subtract. Yeah, I, I feel the same way with substations. They, are, they look so expensive, but then you just start building them and you're like, oh, this is really handy. <laughs> okay, we need wood. Gosh, again, why am I not in a forest? If anyone wondered why we're not being attacked by biters, by the way, uh, it's because we don't have biters on. If we did have biters on, then we would be uh, up Shit's Creek. Shit's Creek or just a regular Shit Creek? It's just a Shit Creek. I like that TV show. Show though. What is this? Why do we have pollution on? Um, I don't know. You ever finished it? Good reminder. Sure, I like it. Okay, so it turns out we're making blue science for a while, and we're just not using it. Um, I feel very foolish. I want to see these get counted out one. Lose clues, yeah, exactly. Alright, so we built a, a new facility for blue science and then we didn't connect it to anything, so that's cool. That's really helpful. That's, uh, Absolutely friggin' amazing. Priority is always that side. Okie dokie. Then we a red wire, green wire, blue science. What do I think of this? Good. Good plan. I got no problems with it. Not yours? That's a good way to or crush things, crush cores. Uh, connect, connect, and then connect. Oh, not you. Why? Battery, not bad. <laughs> Battery. <laughs> this is nice. I like it. Okay, just want to make sure they're counted properly and then we can... Right. Good. Oh yeah, that jammed it up in a funny way. Of course it would do that. Okay, so we've got a bunch more blue science available. Uh, I've been building that for a while. It'll get through though, that's the important thing. Uh, we currently have 20 blue science in the facility. That's not quite the number I needed. It needs to sort of be like 220. But, you know, 20 is better than nothing. So it'll, it'll sort itself out. It'll find a home for itself. I have faith. They're just slowly building along. 20 is plenty. Not really. Not when I want 200. Sulfur is fine here. How's sulfur on the other one? Uh, where is the other one? That's the first one. The other one's here. 
So one the problem is sulfur and the other one the problem is engines. That's about what I would expect from this place. Um, one belt everything? Exactly. Doing well though. I'm actually really excited by this, by this facility. Mining stone pretty consistently. That's pretty funny. How much can we slow down a factory? Oh, we can always slow down a factory more. Don't you worry about that. This looks like your belts when you actually try. <laughs> uh, um, he, yep, that's not good. But, you know, hopefully you have fun when you do it. That's the main thing. Why do I have these burner mining drills? They want them. Am I going to upgrade all the built? Uh, yeah, I'm currently. <laughs> I am currently working on getting them to red, but the problem is it's quite expensive in terms of gear wheels. Um, which is why we actually built this area. Try and get. We do have some reds being built, and I'm going to start building the splitters next. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to. I've just realized the time and it's actually about time for me to go to bed. What I'm going to do next session is I'm going to build the red splitters here and so that way we can continue working on here. The plan is the cell walls, I want them to be the highest tech we have, so red at the moment. But when we get to blue I want them to be blue and I want the insides to be red so that way, just looking at production stats, I can be like, ah, I see, we've got this many reds so that means we need this many uh, belt count and then we can like produce more um, but it takes a lot of gear wheels and it's quite expensive so if I take a guess I'd say blues are probably even more expensive yeah blues are heckin expensive so I think step one is get everything up to red and then we'll worry about blues It's uh, it's gonna be a challenge. But, you know, it's gonna be a fun challenge. I mean, look, the factory is built, is growing, and that's what really matters. Science is happening, albeit slowly, but it is happening. Am I allowed to pull iron for the gears? Uh, iron off the belt for the, to make gears only for red and blue. Well. I was going to do that, and then you said don't do that. You said it was a gangster spirit of things, so I'm not doing it now. <laughs> and I agreed with you, and now we've made a commitment to that. I think it was you. It might not have been you. So now we've made a commitment to it, so we're going to stick to it, at least for Iron Gears. Um, what might have to happen is we just increase the number of gears. Eh, I don't know. It's all a big mystery probably was you. I think it was. That's okay. I'm not fussed. Iron gears are interesting because iron gears are actually more compressed iron because it's two plates for one gear. We don't do the same thing with uh, wires for obvious reasons because wires is the opposite. It's one copper plate for two wires. We will of course consider it when we're getting around to duck territory but we're not a duck territory yet so we don't need to worry about it. But when we get to duck territory, that's when uh, we're going to worry about that. How are we doing with blue science? We have 17. Bad kicking for goodness. Uh, thank you for following a Siska from DK. Appreciate it. I talked about chaos. You say you're working on your mega base, 100 plus trains. My mistake. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> no. That sucks, man. That sucks. Anyway, I do actually need to end up here. So I'm going to stand next to this so I remember what I was building. Here we go. We're going to want to save. And uh, we are going to call it quits for the night. Bad kicking for goodness. <sighs> Thanks, uh, OBS or whatever the heck did that. Um, thanks for coming. So, 
Hi everyone, this is where I do my evening spiel. Thank you everyone very much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. If you're new here and you want to continue witnessing this chaos continue, please do consider following. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and while I do this weird build. It's, it's fun. Um, there are the social links, which are here. Uh, you can go to youtube.com slash sleepercat and see my other older Factorio videos. We've got like a C-Block run, a space exploration run, another sushi belt run that went very, very badly. Uh, Nullius run is currently being uploaded. It's about two months behind. It'll get there eventually. Um, is there another run? There was a Bob's and Angels run there where I was in a big maze. That was interesting. Yeah, so there's a lot of Factorio there. If you want a lot of Factorio content, if you're the sort of person who works and just wants to have some background noise, I mean, hey, that's background noise for you right there. Um, but there's other stuff there too, like uh, a Darkest Dungeon run is being uploaded, a lot of RimWorld. Yeah, that's all there. So, there's a lot of stuff. Heck, there's Dark Souls 1 and 2 if you want to go back 10 years ago. Oof. Um, What else can I say? Well, yes. There is also, I stream four nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. I assume I'll be streaming on Monday, but I might not be able to. Uh, yes, Ask Panda will be tomorrow, where we're going to ask Panda all the questions that people have been asking, uh, and we'll get that sorted. Damn. There's a lot of questions, so a lot of answers. Ghost and bot still not helping. I would have it no other way. Uh, as for me, I am out for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow for some RimWorld. Take care, everyone.